We will call the 21st meeting of the regular common council to order. Pat, would you call the roll, please? Solomon? Here. Deber? Here. Eber? Excused. Doyle? Here. Manny? Here. Moody? Here. Perez? Here. Quartz? Here. Schultz? Here. Stephen? Excused. D. Van Akron? Here. T. Van Akron? Here. Vanderwill? Here. Wangeman? Here. Warner? Here. Winninger? Here. 14 present. Forms present. Alderman Van Akron? Your Honor, I would move that we accept the minutes of the previous mini, mini meeting as entered on the record. Second. Let's move to the second that the minutes of the previous meeting be accepted and placed on file under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Alderman Warner, would you lead us in a pledge, please? Before we get started in the meeting this evening, I'd like you all to stand one more time, please. And let us take a moment of silence for our seven astronauts that have lost their lives in the Space Shuttle Columbia, that terrible tragedy that happened over the weekend, and our thoughts and prayers are with their family. And at this time, if we'll just take a moment of silence. Thank you. <coughs> we have two hearings this evening. I will read them both, and then if any interested parties wishing to be heard, please step up to the microphone and back, state your name and address, so the city clerk can get it for the documents, and uh, tell us which one you're speaking on. First, we have the rezoning of property located on the south side of Superior Avenue, west of North Taylor Drive. The second one, we have the rezoning of property located on the south side of Superior Avenue, west of North Taylor Drive. Any, wishing, any interested parties wishing to be heard? Any interested parties wishing to be heard? I'm Rhonda Slater, 3003 Superior Avenue. Uh, requesting your approval of the rezoning for this property. Um, this, the one they have it doesn't have a street address on it yet because it's a vacant property, um, but it is just to the west of Taylor Drive. Donna, what was your address again? 3003 Superior Avenue, Sheboygan. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. Anyone else? Yes. <coughs> Hi, I'm Joe Moore. Uh, the, uh, my company bought the property adjacent to uh, Rhonda Slater's, and uh, that's under Great Lakes Physical Therapy. The property I purchased was 3309 Superior Ave, and uh, is currently zoned as a uh, residential, and I'd like to get it zoned to suburban office to put an office uh, for my clinic on that property. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are there any questions? Alderman Horner. I thank you, Your Honor. I move the hearings be closed. Second. Move to the second that the hearings be closed under discussion. Under discussion, Your Honor, I'd like to pull ahead documents number 2033 and 2034. Can we vote on a be closer first and then we'll do that? Sure. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, Alderman Horner. Thank you, Your Honor. Which two again? Is a document number 2033 and 2034 near the end of your yep, matter is laid over. Proceed. On that, Your Honor, I would make a motion to accept and file the report of officers and pass the attached ordinance. Okay. Moved and second, accept and file the ROs and pass the ordinance, general ordinances on 2033 and 2034 under discussion. Hearing none, Pat, would you call the roll, please? Motion carried. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay. Before we get into the mayor's appointment, 
John Fish has something he would like to present to the council. So John, if you'd like to do it now. I would like to give this to the common council. Okay. Would you like to explain what you have there, John? I need a counter cross stitch. Okay. That I made. Thank you very much. Alderman Vanderweel, would you accept that for the council, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you, John. Thank you. Good job. It is. Very nice. That John requested if we would get that to New York for him. And uh, we do have officers in a fire department of police officers in a police department who have friends out in New York, so we'll get it sent out there. Okay? Very good. Okay, Steve Mayor's appointments. <clears throat> the first is dated uh, tonight. Hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Peter Streisick as alternate member on Board of Contractors Examiners. Term to expire April 30, 2004. Signed by the Mayor. That will lie over. And the second is dated January 20th. Um, Hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Greg Wegeman to be considered for appointment to the Business Improvement District to fill the unexpired term of Kerry Rauerdink, whose term expires 9-1704, signed by the mayor. That one can be confirmed. Alderman Van Eckren. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the appointment be confirmed. Okay. Moved and seconded that the appointment be put upon this passage under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Public forum, Pat? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alderman Van Eckren, consent agenda. Your Honor, on the consent agenda, I would move that all ROs be accepted and filed, all committee reports be accepted and adopted, and all resolutions be put upon their passage. It's moved and seconded that all ROs be accepted and filed, RCs be accepted and adopted, and, and resolutions be put upon their passage. That's from 21-1 through 21-13, under discussion. Alderman Warner. Thank you, Your Honor. I just wanted to speak on document 21-6. Okay. Your Honor, I would like to publicly thank SBC and Siemens Carrier Network for the donation of $1,400 to the Sheboygan Police Department. Mm -hmm. This will fund a two-year contract for an over-the-phone language interpretation service at the Emergency 911 Center. I'd also like to thank Lieutenant Jan Reinfeldt and all those involved for the work in addressing the need to enhance our 911 emergency system to better serve the entire community. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Warner. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Forbes? Aye. Schultz? Aye. Stephen Akron? Aye. Stephen Akron? Aye. Vanderwill? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. 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 Bauman? Aye. Eyes. Motion carried. 2114 to be referred. 2115 we'll hold for 2133. 2116 we hold for 2132. 2117 will lie over. 2118 through 31 to be referred. 2132 along with 2116 lie over. Same with 2133 and 2115 and also 2134 lie over. 2135 through 44 to be referred. Uh, Mayor, if I could. Uh, sure. 2135 is coming from Redevelopment Authority. Uh, they acted on that Thursday night, so that okay. could just lay over. Okay, that just lies over? Okay. Thank you. 2135 will lay over. Thank you. 2145, <clears throat> Report of Committees by Public Protection and Safety. Recommend denying beverage operators license 3975 and 5856 for failure to cooperate with the committee and misstating conviction record on, on applications. 5872 because of the conviction which substantially relates to the license activity and taxicab driver's license 5864 
for failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Doyle. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that we accept and adopt RO number 2145. Moved and seconded that we accept and adopt 2145 under discussion. Yes. Uh, is Teresa Carpenter, Chad Shelton, <laughs> Joseph Roser, Matt Benson here to speak for themselves? No, Your Honor. No. Okay. If there's no other discussion, Pat, would you call the roll? Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Quartz? Aye. Schultz? Aye. Steven Akron? Aye. Steven Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Bowman? Aye. D. Bird? Aye. Doyle? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carried. 21, 46, and 47 will be referred. 2046, a resolution by Alderman Berg, Bauman, Ports, Berg, and Moody authorizing entering to contract for summer concerts and performances in the Memorial Day and 4th July parades. Alderman Berg, and Bauman, excuse me, I'm sorry. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Moved and seconded that resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Hoyt? Aye. Schultz? Aye. Stephen Ackman? Aye. Stephen Ackman? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. D. Berg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carried. 2047, a resolution by Alderman T. Van Akron, Schultz, Doyle, Perez, and Stephan, rescinding 2002 pro personal property taxes and 2002 real estate property taxes. Alderman Van Akron. Your Honor, I'd like to take 2048 along too, which is a resolution from uh, myself, Alderman Schultz, Perez, Doyle, and Stephan, authorizing transfers and appropriations of budgets in 2003. In both cases, I'd ask that the resolutions be put upon their passage. Moved and seconded that both resolutions be put upon this passage under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Torres? Aye. Torres? Aye. Schultz? Aye. Stephen Aye. Stephen Aye. 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 Longman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Fallman? Aye. D. Berg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carried. 2055, general ordinance by Alderman D. Van Akron amending the municipal code relating to the number of election, election officials at every election to decrease the number from seven to three for the February 18th primary election only. Alderman Don Van Akron. Your Honor, I move that general ordinance be put upon its passage. Move to second the ordinance be put upon its passage. Under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Ports, Aye. Schultz, Aye. Van Akron, Aye. Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangerman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Fallman? Aye. Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carried. 2056, general ordinance by Alderman Warner, Doyle, Winninger, Vanderweel, and Manny, amending the two-hour parking limits regulations to delete the east side of North 18th Street from a point north of Kohler Memorial Drive to a point south of Michigan Avenue and the west side of North 18th Street from the north line of a, of a driveway south of Volrath, Volrath office to a point south. Alderman Warner. Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion the general ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Moved and second the ordinance be put upon its passage under discussion. Under discussion, Your Honor, this removes the current two hour parking restrictions on North East Street or North 18th Street to the east of the Walworth Company. Since the Michigan Avenue viaduct has been taken out and there's less traffic there, they can open this up and allow the on street parking. So that's why we're removing it. Thank you. Okay, great. If there's no other discussion, Pat, would you call the roll, please? Schultz? Aye. Stephen Ackman? Aye. Stephen Ackman? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Longerman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Solomon? Aye. D. Bird? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Torres? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carried. Other matters, 2148, by Alderman T. Van Akron, authorizing entering into agreement with Sheboygan County and Orange Cross Ambulance Service, Inc. for provision of ambulance service in the city and portions of Sheboygan County. Alderman Van Akron. 
Your Honor, I would ask for suspension. Second. Moved and second for suspension. Any, are there any objections of the suspension? Your Honor, I got a question about suspension, I guess. Okay. Um, have we gotten back a cop, signed copy back from Orange Cross? So I have. Steve has. So Correct? From Orange Cross, yes. Yes, uh, yes we do. I believe the, uh, the copy in your packet is a signed yes, copy. Yes. I know Mr. Bradley signed it. Okay, move forward. I'm sorry. Hearing no, hearing no objections, I would move that the... Um, resolution. Is it a resolution? Yes. Mm -hmm. Resolution be put upon its passage. Okay. Move to the second, a resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. Mike, oh, excuse me, Alderman Warner. I thank your honor. This is the culmination of some of the most intense debate, research, hard work, and compromise that I've witnessed as a member of the Common Council. From the beginning, the goals of those involved on the city's side had only the best interests of the people of the city of Sheboygan in mind. Our goal, our objective, to make sure that the best emergency ambulance service available in the current climate would be provided to our citizens. This contract will receive my support for passage, and provided its terms are adhered to, my support will continue. Again, our goal all along was quite simple. Responsive, reliable, verifiable, guaranteed ambulance service. I ask each of you to consider this carefully and to support this resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Mike, did you want to say anything on a contract? It's up to you guys. No. Does anyone have any questions? Alderman Warner. Thank you, Honor. I did have one question I forgot to ask. I meant to do it right up front, uh, and that is on the EMS plan for the county, Sheboygan County EMS plan. Have there been any changes in that document? Steve. Uh, I don't know, Alderman Warner. I didn't have a chance to check today, and I talked to Mike Cuts uh, earlier too, and he hadn't uh, hadn't checked. Uh, I really haven't had involvement with the EMS plan in the past. Uh, I don't know if, I guess whether it has or it hasn't, the, the latest EMS plan would be the attachment to this. Okay. Alderman Ports. Thank you, Honor. I'm on the Wayne County EMS plan committee, and we only meet four times a year, so we haven't. Uh, last time we met was right around Thanksgiving, so we're due to have a meeting soon. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Mike, can you just touch base on the contract a little bit so everyone knows okay. what we have as a contract? Just, I'll just Briefly. quickly review some of the, some of the highlights. Um, first of all, we, this was an introduction. We had a couple very productive, fruitful meetings with Orange Cross, I, I think they understood after meeting face to face, which is always a lot more effective than exchanging proposals and, and not discussing. I think after our face to face meetings, they understood uh, our need to ensure quality care and rapid response times. And likewise, we understood their, uh, their business concerns. So I'm very pleased there, there is an agreement. Uh, just to br brief briefly review what we have, um, length of the contract is uh, five years. They will have three ambulances on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with one ambulance on call uh, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., seven days a week. Um, we clarified or included language that clarified that dispatch time, our dispatch time from our telecommunications center will be used to determine response times uh, response times will be six minutes, continue to be six minutes for code three, which are life-threatening injuries, and 10 minutes for non-emergency, uh, non-life-threatening injuries. Orange Cross had a concern to uh, balance quick response with public safety concerns um, to allow them to downgrade calls to non-life-threatening if they determine that it is non-life threatening. And I believe on page four 
of your contract, you'll see a definition of uh, life-threatening and what non-life-threatening are. Uh, ambulance locations. Uh, had quite a discussion regarding that. Uh, Orange Cross will continue with the ambulance locations. Uh, one at 1601 North Taylor Drive, one at 1919 Ashland, and another at 2629 North 7th Street. If they choose to uh, relocate those, those ambulance locations for any reason, they must inform the coalition, the city and county, and get permission, approval for those relocation. Uh, Orange Cross had a concern if another private ambulance carrier entered the city. Uh, they had a concern regarding their operational standards. City agreed to uh, renegotiate the operational standards, which are included in section 2E of the contract, that's pages 2, 3, and 4. The Quality Assurance Committee will be composed of four city representatives, two county, and one doctor with the chairperson to uh, rotate yearly between city and county. Um, city and county were both added as additional insured on the policy in those cases where our first responder will be driving an Orange Cross vehicle when both paramedics are working on a patient. Uh, Orange Cross agreed to endorse the expansion of our first responders' clinical abilities up to the par paramedic level if we, the city and county, assume responsibility for their actions, that language is included in the contract. Um, incident reports will be filed by Orange Cross when they don't meet the city or county response times or their en route times. Again, response times are six minutes for life-threatening, ten for non-life-threatening, and en route times is, is two minutes, meaning that when they get the call, they have to be on the road within two minutes. Um, regarding rates, um, the language included for rates is that Orange Cross would, uh, would develop reasonable, reasonable rates and they would inform the coalition, the city and county, of any increases and the justification therefore. Uh, we included a 90-day notice to terminate the contract based on a material breach rather, rather, rather than the 30 days uh, which was in the previous contract uh, on behalf of the coalition, meaning if, if the coalition found a material breach, uh, we would notify Orange Cross, inform them that the contract uh, would be terminated within 90 days, not within the 30 that was in the previous contract. If the uh, contract is terminated before the expiration date, the coalition would have immediate access to Orange Cross or to three of Orange Cross's ambulances and the equipment for up to uh, six months at either the fair market purchase price or the fair market rental rate. And that was imperative uh, for continuity or for continuation of care, of, of service, of providing ambulance care, care if something were to happen to Orange Cross. Um, and the final, uh, final concern, uh, providing that Orange Cross was not in material breach of the contract during the five-year term, the city would agree not to create a city-based ambulance during the duration of the agreement. And that, in short, is the contract. Thank you, Mike. If there's no questions, Pat, would you call the roll, please? Van Excuse me. T. Van Akron. Vanderweel? Aye. Longerman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. D. Berg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Ports? Aye. Schultz? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carried. Thank you for coming this evening. 2149 will go to City Plan Commission. 2150 will go to City Plan Commission. 2151 will go to City Plan Commission. And 2152 will go to City Plan Commission. Alderman Warner is going to be busy in City Plan Commission. Steve? 2153 is a communication from Carol DePachter 
20, or 926 South 14th Street relative to a threat of legal action by Mrs. Dina Matlin. That will go to public protection and safety. 2154 is a communication from the mayor requesting the transfer of a million dollars from the industrial park fund to be used for the police facility project. Finance committee. 2155 is a communication from owners of the wharf and dockside lounge requesting permission to allow the consumption of fermented malt beverages in the lot between their two buildings and along the boardwalk area to the east of the buildings during the Powder Puff Derby in July. Public Protection and Safety, Transit Commission, and Public Works. 2156 is a communication from owners of the restaurants and taverns along the boardwalk requesting permission to allow the consumption of fermented malt beverages along the boardwalk and adjacent city parking lots during the Coho Derby. Public Protection and Safety, Transit Commission, and Public Works. 2157 is a communication from Steve Jacobson of the Sheboygan JC Foundation requesting review and approval of various issues relative to the annual Brat Days Festival. Public Works and Public Protection and Safety. 2158 is a letter received from the Sheboygan Paper Box Company requesting the installation of no parking at any time signs to be posted in the area between the west entrance to Rock Lines parking lot on South 11th Street and the walkway at the northwest corner of their new addition. Public Protection and Safety. 2159 is a resolution to authorize the transfer of funds to provide monies to establish appropriations for the police facility project in the capital improvements fund. That will go to finance. And 2160 is a uh, <clears throat> committee report by building use committee uh, with reference to the police facility project recommending the mayor's proposal uh, of transferring the million dollars from the industrial park fund to the police facility project appropriations. That will go to finance also. Move to the second to adjourn under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. <laughs>